By the time I finish this sentence, about 20 million emails will have been sent. In fact, people send an estimated 145 billion emails worldwide every day. CEOs and other top executives usually have personal assistants to handle all the tasks buried in those emails. But what about the rest of us? NBC Bay Area's Stephanie Trong joins us with the program. One local group says we'll cut that email overload, Stephanie. That's right, Jessica. It's a concept called crowdsourcing. Wikipedia is one example of it. What it boils down to is tapping into a large group of people for services and content. Now, the question here is, would you be interested in, say, doubling your productivity, even if it meant handing over your email password to a total stranger? From the moment you wake up to when you're at work, whether it's on your desktop or on your cell, those emails just keep on coming. And some of it has important tasks. But the more time reading may mean less time doing. And they seem trivial, but they really hold us back. CEOs and top execs have their own solution, personal assistants who dig through emails for them. Managing that onslaught. But what about the rest of us? I'd really like to push on. This team of three from Stanford's computer science Not department came up with one solution, email valet. The test version used Gmail. It's a program that connects you with professionals online who become your remote assistants. They go through your emails, find the tasks, and put them into a list with the original emails just to the left. But first, like you hand your keys over to a valet, you'll have to hand over your password. The group decided to test the idea. Would people give strangers access to their emails? We actually validated that it was indeed a crazy idea. PhD student Nicholas Kokolis says of the 600 people surveyed, less than 4% said they'd be willing to give up their passwords. People like Stanford business grad student and study participant Anish Patel. I think privacy is an issue. But he changed his mind after the 10-day study. Email Valet has a feature built in where you can restrict what the assistant sees. You can blacklist out anything that contains uh, particular keywords like bank or password or credit card or anything. They also built in a tracking feature. We actually keep track of what the crowd worker has done. Patel said those measures plus cutting the headache of reading countless emails made this program well worth it, especially because he said computer driven email help programs fell flat for him. I'd experimented with a few of them. Like, honestly, none of them ever seemed to really stick for me. In the group study, Kokolis says email valet doubled productivity compared to those who tried to manage tasks in emails by themselves. How much would you have to pay? It's estimated the total comes in at less than two bucks a day or 60 bucks a month. That compared to a $3,000 per month salary of a real executive assistant. So what got Kokolis really started on email valet in the first place? The idea came after creating a social media gaming platform. We were measuring how much time people spent playing the games. The total, more than one billion minutes. Translated to eight hour work days. That is about 2,000 years. <laughs> With services like Email Valet, he's hoping to give people time back. Fewer emails. And have more time to play more games. Now, as for the cost of all that, Email Valet creators say it would be less than two bucks a day. It is still in the very early stages. They're hoping a company will see the potential for doubling this productivity and pick up the project. Jess and Raj. How do we sign up for that again? <laughs> Very interesting, <laughs> isn't it? All right, thanks, Stephanie. Uh, Let's bring in our chief meteorologist, yes. Jeff Verdieri. Happy Friday night. Yeah, you too. As you're